Tributes have poured in from across the world following the sudden passing of former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan. Mr. Annan, who was 80, was a Nobel Peace Prize winner and the first sub Saharan African to lead the UN. He is being widely praised for his lifelong work to revive the organization and improve the lives of people everywhere. Antonio Guterres, the current UN chief, has called for keeping Mr. Annan's legacy particularly his peacemaking spirit, alive, saying it is needed more than ever in today's challenging global environment. One year into Asia's fastest growing refugee crisis, more than 700,000, mainly Muslim Rohingya, have sought refuge in Bangladesh after fleeing violence in their home country, Myanmar. The UN is urging more support for the host communities inside Bangladesh as well as to help refugees with education and livelihood opportunities. The UN and partners are providing day-to-day assistance on the ground. Some 950 million US dollars is needed to sustain aid operations for this year. So far, just over 30% of these funds are in place. The UN World Health Organization, WHO, has appealed for 11 million US dollars to maintain health care in conflict-ridden northwest Syria. The UN Health Agency says that the funds will be used to strengthen vaccination and medical evacuation, as well as to deliver life-saving medicines and equipment in the region. Currently, some 2 million people there lack safe water and sanitation, which makes them vulnerable to diseases. Over half of the health care facilities have been destroyed or forced to close in the country. 